In the last video, we started our journey of learning the Trachtenberg speed system of basic mathematics. In this video, we will further learn the keys for basic multiplication. So, let's begin. Hello Genesis. So before starting this video, I will highly request you that if you haven't seen the part one of this video, then go first watch that part and then come to this video and watch this part. Only then this video will make any sense. So let's start by learning the keys for multiplying with eight and nine. And for that we have a new mental step which gives us further mental training. And this step is subtracting a number from either 10 or nine. So now I will flash some number in front of you and immediately as you see that number, subtract it from 10 and say the answer. So for example, if you see seven, say three instantly, try to do it instantly without thinking of like the middle steps, like 10 minus seven is three, no, six, four, five, five, like that, okay, like immediate. Okay, so good if you have done that. Okay, now let's do this same thing, but this time subtract from nine. Okay, great. Now you are all set for multiplying with eight and nine really quickly. Okay, so let us first learn the multiplication with nine. And for that, let us multiply this number with nine using the Trachtenberg speed system of basic mathematics. And to make it more fun, first do it with the traditional method and see how much complexity is there and how much time it takes. So what is the key? Subtract the rightmost digit from 10. So we have one in here, 10 minus nine is one. Okay, now for the middle digits, subtract from nine and add the neighbor. Okay, so for six, see, nine minus six is three. You just have to do it more swiftly. See, when you see six, you say three. So three plus nine, because nine is the neighbor, three plus nine is 12, so two with a dot. Now we have seven. Nine minus seven is two. Two plus six, eight. And there is one carry, so nine. So you go on like this and for the last step when you reach the zero, just subtract one from the neighbor. We have eight, so eight minus one is seven. So this is our answer. This is how quickly you can do it. Now let us try this number. Now we will try to do it as quickly as we can. See four, so six. Next we have five, so four. Its neighbor is four, so four plus four, eight. We have six, so three plus five, eight. We have eight, so one plus six, seven. We have nine, so zero plus eight, eight and then subtract one from nine, eight. This is how quickly you can multiply with nine. Now let us look at the multiplication with eight, which is really similar to the multiplication with nine. So let us try to multiply this number with eight. So similar to nine, subtract the rightmost digit from 10, but this time double the number. So here we have nine, so 10 minus nine is one, but you don't have to think about C9 and say one. So one and its double is two. So two. Now for the middle digits, subtract from nine, similar. This time just double and add the neighbor. So see, we have eight, so one, double of one is two, and add the neighbor, nine plus two is 11, so one dot. So now we have seven, so two, two's double is four, eight plus four, 12, and we have one carry, so 13, so three, and a dot. Now for the last step, when you reach zero, you have to subtract two from the neighbor. Okay, so seven minus two is five, but we have one carry, so six. So this is how you multiply with eight using this Trachtenberg system. This is similar to nine, just extra steps are doubling the digits and also at the end we subtract two instead of one. Now as an exercise, try to multiply this number with both eight and nine using this Trachtenberg system. You tell me what is the key for multiplying with two? It should be simple, like double the number as simple as that. Just for completion purposes, what is the key for multiplying with one? Do nothing, just that same number. Okay. Now while reading the keys for multiplying with three and four, I felt that the keys were a little more complicated than our traditional methods. There were more steps involved in those. So instead of using the Trachtenberg system for multiplication with three and four, I will recommend you to use the traditional system for multiplication with three and four. But just for completion purposes, these are the keys for multiplying with three and four. 
four. If you are interested, you can try out these keys yourself, but traditional method is much more simpler than using these keys because these are smaller numbers and we are like much more confident in multiplying that way. Now for multiplying with 10, just add zero at the end. This is really, really simple. So now as a summary, these are all the keys which we have learned in these two videos. And with this, we have learned the basic multiplication keys of the Trachtenberg system. And if you remember these keys, you can multiply any huge number by digits from 1 to 12 very swiftly and without needing to remember any tables. And this is just the start of Trachtenberg system. Trachtenberg system is much more bigger and has a lot more tricks than this. So in future videos, we will learn more tricks using this Trachtenberg system. And thanks for watching this video and always remember that. Math is everything.